Hi YouTube, this is Mary, and this is Harold. Harold, how is it? No, I can't see. Okay. Is that better? Can you hear it? Okay. Now we're going to. Let's do it like that. Okay. We're going to continue reading from the book Powerful Quotes by Harold E. Tolliver. Continue where we started last week, and. Um, we were talking a lot about fear, and I don't know if you want to enlighten us of what we did or kind of top it off, or do you want to just pick up where we yeah, left well, off? Well, this, this is in the chapter of fear. Mm -hmm. It's talking about um, fear. Did we just... Yeah, we, we read all that, but we, while we were getting ready to start, you were talking about this here, fear produces attack, love produces harmony. And I was asking you about what does fear produce and what does love produce? And you said something about anger, uh, fear produces anger and... Uh, it says here, right? it says fear which distorts the powers to power to reason and disconnect you from godly communication. So that's what fear does. Yes. Fear sure produces attack. Love produces harmony. Um, Hell is an invention of the church. Hell is an invention to control people with yeah, fear. Yeah. Okay, that's, that's all there is. So fear, when we think, go ahead, sir. And they say it also, when you feel fear, you feel it as a physical thing, which is what it is. Mm. Do not fear. Fear is a negative reaction that empowers the lower energy entities and separates and separate. Remember, you are a spark of the essence of God, and God has no fear. Therefore, you have no fear. Fear do, does not exist in the mind of God. Okay. So it should not exist in your mind either. You know, this is not how things bother me, but the Bible, this is not the Bible. I have to remember, I you're know. not reading the Bible. So well, I, 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 but but uh, I, I, uh, I got a lot of things uh, when I, I read the Bible. And uh, the Bible don't tell you like these yeah, things. Yeah, because yeah, the Bible will tell yeah. you like in I wrote that down. Um, Ephesians, because we're gonna do another discussion about things that confuse me or uh, contradictions in the Bible. Mm -hmm. But uh, uh, Philippians, uh, it tells us to uh, our salvation with seek out our salvation with fear and trembling. And then you go to another Timothy, uh, the first chapter and the seventh verse, it says, God has not given us a spirit of fear. So the Bible will give you two different, but this is not the Bible. I have to remember this. Mm -hmm. But give us two different things to do with fear. And if we get it in our heads, that fear is has nothing to do with God. It's just the author. God is not the author of Fear or confusion, and confusion is fear. Yeah, it's so. it, it said fear is a self-created God, the Almighty Source, did not program life for you to be filled with fear and sickness unto death. That is not the divine plan. That is yours. That's my plan when I'm thinking about fear. Yeah. When I'm acting in fear, mm -hmm. and that's the key thing to to know. What's what's the elements of fear? Yeah, because when you fear anger, I, I I I'm dealing with my anger issues, and anxiety, depression, all of that is coming from fear. Yeah, that's not of God. Fear not is not of God. Fear produce attack. Love produce harmony. Hell is a in invention of the church. Hell is an invention to control people with, with fear. fear. See? So fear 
is a, is a control element. Yeah, well, fear, in other words, fear is hell. Oh, that's true. true. We, damn, we, we damn ourselves yeah. with, fear. with fear. Yes. When you feel fear, you feel it as a physical thing, which is what it is. See, do not fear. Fear is a negative reaction that empowers the lower energy entities and separates you from your con connection to the God source. Remember, you are a spark of the essence of God, and God has no fear. Therefore, you have no fear. Fear does not exist in the mind of God, so it should not exist in your mind either. Fear does not exist in the mind of God. That's, That's right. true. It could because how, if God had fear, he wouldn't even been able to complete the world. Right. Yeah. Making different. Oh, I'm scared. I can't make no more. I'm, oh, God. Yeah. No, God does not fear. He has no right. fear. Right. And it goes on to say fear erodes the health and the well being of person of the person in whom it resides. Fear can paralyze. Fear can cause failure. Fear can block courage and the, cas the, the cap capacity. Capacity. Yeah. Thank you. To learn to learn new things. Fear is one deadly poison. See this now. This That's is what I to okay. Where we live. Yes, we. Right. Fear is one deadly, deadly poison. poison. We fear. Fear is not of God. You know, we yeah, generate it. Yeah. We generate it. So, okay, I got to know. But when we generate it, where do we generate it from? From new, listening to news, listening to negative people and your negative thinking? I, um, for me, I think mine come from thinking and then watching the news media. Uh, the you know what's going on with the the war and we not gonna have food blah 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 and people are putting up uh, food and stuff for, for famine. Well, you know they said fear is bondage. Uh, conquer fear and be free. And be free. Fear it it, is, it's, it it tells you um, fear. False evidence appearing real. Yeah. Do not fear. Evil feeds on fear, which is its weapon against us. Fear is yeah. self-created. Self and we do it to ourselves. You know, because, uh, you know, you got these damn preachers saying, I'm a God-fearing man. And yeah. then that, that that bring fear to the people yeah, when the preacher is saying that yeah. I'm a God fearing man, you know that's the way he preached. See, so that's not of God. See, and, but in the Bible, you know, it, so uh, it they're not reading this Bible right. They're not reading God's word. They have been right. dissected, but like right. all of these. Quotations you got these from different books. It's not right, everything is from right. the Bible. I know, I know. And I know. then, like you go right here, um, this one right here. Let me see this. This one. Oh, I like this part. It says, "What, what we are afraid of isn't actually happening. We're just thinking about it happening mm -hmm. because." I can I can hear a noise or something and I get so afraid blah 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 because I'm thinking, and then if that was that event was to happen, I wouldn't have time to be afraid. I would get up, find my gun, a stick, a bat. I would actually it would actually put me into action. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, we need to be taught: do not fear. Fear is a negative reaction that empowers the lower energy entity and separate you from your connection to get to the God's God source, source, you know, remember you are a spark of the essence of God mm -hmm. and God has no fear. Therefore you have no fear. Fear does not exist in the mind of God. So it should not exist in your mind either. <laughs> the, now, but, the, but the Bible ain't telling you no, that. It's not telling you, you that. You can't get that from the Bible. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why I made, you know, yeah, the right quotation. Book. Yeah, yeah, all the quotation is telling you that uh, point blank, hey, there's no need to no fear. No need to have fear. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's it read the next The only thing the Bible says, fear not. Yes, that's fear not. Yes, mm -hmm. but it don't tell you the details of what fear is. I'll just, just say, fear not. Look at this fear again in, oh, in the Old Testament. Uh, for this is the whole duty of man to love God and uh, to fear God and keep his commandments. That's, that's our duty. So that's in the Old Testament. But like I say, you, you can't, the Bible will have you uh, putting the left shoe on the right foot. You know, you just can't get it together. Martin had said that. He said, fear is to fear yourself or something like that. I think Martin Luther King said some kind of fear. Uh, Sometimes I remember uh, yeah. Roosevelt or some fear is fear itself. Uh, I think it was Roosevelt like said that. during the Second World War. Yeah, well, it says something like that. Yeah. Okay, let's continue reading. Okay, okay. it says lack of communication is. Let me sit up because I want to hear the speakers are up here. Yeah. Lack of communication is very bad because it allows fear to envelop one's being and not see the reality of what is before them. It covers everything in darkness. It is our fear that keeps us back. Think and you will see that it is your own mind that you are creating fear and evil. For it does not and cannot exist in the only presence of God. A dark thought in the past is called guilt. A dark thought in the past is called guilt. Guilt is a past tense of the word fear. Guilt always takes place in the past. Okay. okay. That's good. That's well. It is where we are tortured by what we could have done. Now that is so interesting. Mm -hmm. A dark thought in the past is what's called guilt. Hmm. As soon as you realize you are having a fearful thought, shut it out. To better understand fear is to understand that there is only one fearful thought. It is called the big lie. Fear is always based on a profound feeling of our own inadequacy. Wow. You yeah. are okay. not, you are not now and never have been inadequate, period. It is our personal life force fear. Fear isn't happening, happening. People on this planet are raised to be extremely fearful. Fear is an addition, addiction itself. We have become addicts to fear. That is so true. Addicted yeah. to fear. Oh, Excuse yeah, me. That's my problem. We 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 are addicted, addicted to, to fear. fear. Um, I, I need to. Well, where am I? I your yeah, pencil. Oh, your yeah, highlighter. I had a pencil. We are addicted to fear. Yeah. So, I mean, this is serious. Yeah, it is. Cause we, 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 damn, we, we damn in ourselves. But even before we even start, because I could be getting ready to do something, and I hear this voice on my left shoulder, right? I hear this voice. It's not the good voice, the voice of God. Uh, so and so and so and so it happen. And I always say, what if? When I hear that, that, Boys say, "What ills? I know it. What ill? That's gonna be a negative thought, yeah. and it makes me afraid." God. Okay, where did I? To better I understand on? stuff right here. Okay, I think uh, I need this yet. I think I got that. Right here, it's called a big lie. Oh, I read that. You're here. You are not now, and never have been inadequate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you are not now and never have been inadequate fear. It is our personal life force fear. fear. 
fear isn't happening. People on this planet are raised to be extremely fearful. Fear is an addiction mm -hmm. itself. We have become addicted to mm -hmm. fear. Nothing in life is to be feared. It is only <laughs> to be understood. understood. Yeah. To fear a thing literally invites it into our life. Oh, let me say that again. Mm -hmm. To fear a thing literally invites it into our life. That's kind of like my niece. She was in a car wreck one time, but she wasn't driving. Mm -hmm. She's in her thirties. She's still afraid to drive. Mm -hmm. That's fear. Yeah. Mm. See, when man heart uh, fail fail them in fear, then you will see the full tragedy of life and the flesh. Wow. So. Fear is pausing, man. That is. It's, it's a powerful but, force, but, 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 but uh, we fear ourselves, you know? Um, and uh, it, that, that I, I don't like that when I hear these preachers going around talking about, about fear. Yeah. I'm a God-fearing man. They put fear in me when he said mm -hmm. Every so time he said that. Of God. I'm a God-fearing man. So that shouldn't be in the Bible. Why would you be afraid of your father? Why would you be afraid of your mother, your friend? Why would you be afraid of anyone? Okay, I'm going to read this right here. There are only two reasons we respect someone. One is out of fear. The other is out of love. Amen. Amen. Yeah. We pretend, we pretend to acknowledge someone as an authoritarian figure out of fear. We respect someone because we love them. Mm, so that's talking about when you say I'm a God-fearing man, we're supposed to fear God because of his authority. Not because we respect God. Well, well, we, we, we shouldn't be saying... Uh, I'm a God-fearing man. Uh, fear is not of God. Okay? So, uh, you know, I hear these preachers saying these things. Like, I'm they, a say God it, they say it. They say it. Like, I mean, I mean almost this, everything you hear. Yeah, I know it, but this religion, mm -hmm. see, messing these people up. You know? And that's why they got to get up and holler. Oh, you know, when the preacher be preaching <laughs> and, and these women getting up hollering. Oh, yeah, yes, sir, yes, sir. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, you know, scared the bejesus out of you. Yeah, you know, yeah, when you go to man. church like that, and these women holler. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. You know, gashing the teeth. Huh? I know it, but they see, but, but they're wrong. The preacher is wrong. Yeah, yeah, he's wrong. See, he's not educated. He's ignorant. An average Christian or religious person is ignorant. Yes. They are women, but ignorance stems from fear. Right. So they preach in fear. Yeah. And fear. Yeah. Which one do you think is the strongest? Love or fear? Which one? The the love you have for someone or the fear? Which is the strongest? Love. Love has to be the strongest. Love all, yeah. Because the, the the God created love. He didn't create it fear. You know. He created us with love because he, if he created us out of fear, we'd have three eyes and six. I, we would really be messed up. God didn't work operate in a spirit of fear. Yeah. Uh, do not fear. Evil feel feeds on fear which is its weapon against us see so you know fear is of the devil you know mm -hmm. love you know conquers all yeah that's the that's not strong. in the bible though is it huh? love conquers all that's not a thing in the bible that's just it should be in the bible if i didn't if you look at your bible it's just, god is love yes fear is not love 
No, but uh, you got these churches, religion, and uh, these damn preachers, you know, be, be, be preaching fear. Yeah, that's all they do. And uh, that's that's damnation, you know? That's true, though. That's yes. damnation. And Hell you're preaching, yeah. you are sending yourself to this so-called unreal place, mm -hmm. which is hell, which we created ourselves. Uh, yeah, that, you I, feel I, this is what I'm reading in this book. Yeah. I'm mm -hmm. reading this book. I copied it. You copied it. Yeah, yeah, what we're doing, but, we are, we're building this place to put ourselves because of this imaginary fear. Yeah. I, and it, I fear because I'm scared I'm going to hell. And mm. I can't conquer my fear. So I know I'm bound there. But you send your own self to hell because of yeah. fear. Yeah, yeah. Well, uh, fear fear is deadly. Mm. You know, we, 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 we damn ourselves with that with fear. fear. You know, and that's not of God. See. Okay, let me finish here. Oh, uh, just, uh, let it go back. Well, let's uh, look at it. Should be all right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sonny, go away. Okay, mm -hmm. fear is only programming. It's not really a natural state. Fear exists outside the self, and therefore, you may appear to be the subject to an infection from it. Fear is fiction. Uh, it is it's not really a natural state. It's a lie. It's a lie. It's a damn lie. Fear exists outside the self, outside of me. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you may appear to be the subject to an infection from it. even I'm uh, looking at myself from the outside, I would act unseemly because of fear. Fear is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> You know, well, I it, it, should, it should be in the Bible. It ain't gonna let you know what? I just remind me of one time. I, I'm thinking about it now. I'm so I, I just embarrassed that this happened. Mm. The church I went to, we weren't allowed to go to the fair, but this time a bunch of kids snuck away and went to the fair. Mm. And they we decided to go to one of these freak shows, and they had a gorilla woman there. And the man said, don't stand next to the cage because this woman can shed out of a bikini. She could turn into a gorilla. So y'all mm. stay away from the cage. And I'm looking and trying to see where my little friends are, my church friends. And I'd never seen a troll black, never seen it in my life. Mm. So the lights start flashing. Mm -hmm. And then the lady in the cage starts shaking on the cage. And I said, ooh. Mm. And then a few more shakes. I saw a gorilla in the cage. The woman mm -hmm. had turned to a gorilla. Mm -hmm. And then the cage act like it's coming loose. That scared the bejesus out of me. I was the first one who ran out of that tent because I knew this was really happening. Mm -hmm. Fear is fiction. Mm -hmm. And nobody else ran out. Mm -hmm. And then when they did come out, they was looking at me. Everybody pointing at me laughing. Mm -hmm. I was a laughing, laughing star because I was afraid. Mm -hmm. But fear exists outside the self, and therefore you may appear to be the subject of an infection from it. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, go ahead and read that one. Everything. Okay, it said, <clears throat> every fear is actually the same thought. They all create us in a dark future. We are not actually in the future in that future we just think we are <laughs> that's so true yes yeah I thought, I thought I this remember. book is telling you it about is. This fear, you fear is anything that makes us feel bad a dark thought in the past is called guilt guilt is the past tense of the word fear mm -hmm. See that should be in the Bible. The Bible is it it is it, 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 really not teaching us. Well, the Bible wasn't really meant for us to learn to think. It was written to make us learn to obey. That's all it was. You need to obey. You don't need to think. Well, I know the Bible says, be still and know that I'm God. 
Yeah, but I'm, when I say the to. Bible, when I'm talking, I'm talking about the preacher. When they what they pick to teach, the the uh, scriptures that they pick to teach, because they know how to thumb through this. So we ain't gonna talk about that. I'm gonna mm -hmm. talk about that, and I'm gonna preach on this until they understand it. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead. All right. They who have conquered doubt and fear have conquered failure. Mm, failure. I mean, and man, this, this is beautiful, man. <laughs> it, I I got this out the Bible, you know. Uh, what? Oh, some yeah, of these. Yeah, by fear. Oh, about fear. Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, and uh, fear shouldn't be in the good book. You know. No. no. But the thing about it, when you put hell in that book. You have to put something about fear. And then, uh, in order to avoid going to hell, then the, the Christian religion. See, we in we hell, hell now. No, but we ain't going. We, we here in hell. But, this yeah, is hell this right is now. Hell, but they want you to think it's going to be worse. Mm -hmm. with, a, with a devil with a pig fart sticking mm -hmm. it up their ass. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. That's so, crazy. Uh, yeah, I know. But uh, people need to stop, look, and listen, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, don't let these preachers, you know, put that in your head. You need to read the Bible to yourself, you know, to learn for yourself through the Bible. You, know, the, you don't need no preacher to be going around, uh, you know, say, well, hey, I'm the preacher, you know, so y'all listen to me. We had a preacher. Preacher that I grew up with, he would always say he don't want any members in his church that knew more than he did. Mm -hmm. So the average preacher don't want you to learn. You'll learn what he teaches you, and that's it. Yeah, that's the devil. And you can't go that's over his head. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's so, see how we move in here. What? Oh, we got ooh, 27 minutes. Okay, hold on now. Well, we have to go through this page. Yeah, okay, hold on. We got, oh, we got two pages. Yeah. 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 Okay, fears and they they who have conquered doubt and fear have a conquered failure. Yeah, you read that. Okay, mm -hmm. for those. Okay, uh, we'll read this paragraph. Okay, so for those learn. for those that will not go to the way of the flesh are those who have no fear. Mm. Always do do what. You are afraid to do. <laughs> Always do what do. you are afraid to do. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know about that. No. What are you going to say? Always. Always do what you're afraid to do. Uh-oh. I can't do that. <laughs> well, you know what? Sometimes I might, but not always. No. That's a miss. Yeah. Yeah, I, you know, that's a, I hate to, hey, I got to, man, I, I, I'm i not understanding that. Always do no, that's, what you, you are And see, this thing about this, about that freedom, you have freedom to say, uh, yeah, But I, I got this out of the Bible. No, you didn't get that out of the Bible. You got this out of one of the books that you have uh, got your quotation from. Mm -hmm. But that's a mis mis misnomer. You can't say that. Always do what you're afraid of. To do, I'm afraid to uh, jump out of the plane, but uh, I'm not gonna do that. So that's a the, hey, just ignore that one, okay? <laughs> well, I, I hate that I did that. Did what? Did that thing? No, you. This is I what you wrote. Book. It don't matter. No, but is still, every time you hear hey. something, it don't mean you have to accept everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause, yeah. I mean, because you're gonna hear some things that well, you don't agree with. This is my bad. It ain't just bad. It's yeah. just what somebody else said. Yeah. You didn't write it. You just copied this. That's what you get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. But uh, there's a lot of good things in here, but that is one thing I would not do. Yeah. I see what the next one says. Sin is only a nature for a name. Or a name. Sin is only a name for the ignorance. It is the materialism of thought that the five senses express. Sin exists only as an error based on fear. Hmm. 
Okay. And it's also say fear is truly spoken of as the mind killer, the disease of life, uh, the constant. Uh, the constant ills. Ills and yeah. is not spiritual expression in the channels of love and compassion. Yeah. Well, it's, fear is, 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 is messed up. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, man. Uh, wow. Yeah, you know, fear is of, of the devil. <laughs> <laughs> I just said that. It's evil. Yeah, I didn't put that in the book, but, you know, that's what that's what fear is. Mm -hmm. It's a, of the devil. You know, you, you, you got the God and the devil, so. I, I, I'm not going to bring it up, but if you go back to the beginning in the garden, when God told Adam what would happen, the day you eat thereof, you shall die. Mm -hmm. So that one sentence is based on fear. But evidently it wasn't enough. To convince Adam, because he Adam just didn't believe it. I guess. Well, you think God was trying to uh, frighten Adam when he said that? No, no. But he was God telling didn't. him the truth. You're gonna die. Well, let's go away now, because you know how I feel about Genesis. We ain't gonna go away. We ain't gonna talk about mm -hmm. Babylon. Yeah, well, but, you know, it's a lot of mistakes in that Bible. There's a lot of mistakes everywhere. Yes, yes, yes. So we 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 got to seek. God, ourselves. And then one day you might feel a certain way, and then the next week you'll say, hmm, I don't feel that way anymore. And then mm -hmm. you always have this thing to change your mind. That's yeah. free will. You can't mm -hmm. always have that. I'm so glad we do have free will because if we didn't, we'd be living in a communist state. Mm -hmm. So look into your inner self, you know. Mm -hmm. So that, that's what I did. I look into myself. Mm -hmm. That's why I started. Uh, writing this book, you know, because I want to know the truth myself, yeah. you know, so I don't want to hear from no preacher or no uh -huh. church or no religion. I want to go directly. That I got to tell you, tell people a lot. It's just me and God. Mm -hmm. So I go to God. I ain't going to church. Yeah, you ain't got you know, to I, I got God. Mm -hmm. I talk to God. Right in your you back know. pocket. Yeah, right All in, your pockets. Right there in my heart. And I talk to him anytime. And it makes me feel good when I speak to God. Yes. And I, I feel the vibration, you know, that it is I can feel tingling when I, mm -hmm. you know, talking to God. The communication. Yes. So let me ask you this. Um well, I, this might change something. But when you talk to God, do you hear from God? Does God ever speak to you? And God speak to me with a feeling. A it's, feeling. It's not in words. Oh, okay. I can feel you his can feel presence. That. Okay. You know. Mm -hmm. uh, that's good to know. Yeah, peace be still. Yeah. So, cause when, that. yeah, cause uh, you know, God is at peace. Mm -hmm. You know, but uh, when you, when you, uh, when you feel in God, you know that you communicate with God. Yeah, when you feel it, that's yeah, true. It's coming from your heart. Yeah, because it doesn't have to always be an audible feeling. Right. It's just yeah. something carrying on the mm -hmm. inside. Yeah, it's you know, just something divine. Mm -hmm. You know, you feel it all in your body. You know, yes. you start tingling when you mm -hmm. uh talking to God. And, and you know, God, God is listening. You know? So, you know, hey. But this is an amazing chapter, love and fear. Okay, let me get to another paragraph. Where will we stop okay. off at? Let's, we got to skip a little bit because a lot of this are uh, repetitive here. Okay, well, here we go. The first step toward conquering fear. Well, I'm going to read that real quick to get, okay. get this over. Okay, where, where will we stop on this page? Um, Sin is... The, the, the read that by ignorance of the devil. Fear is. Yeah, read that one. 
Fear is truly spoken of as the mind killer, the disease of life, constant is and is not a spiritual expression in the channels of love and compassion. Uh, live in the total being of spiritual vibration, not in the mysteries, the fears, the ignorance, the worship of idols, for they are the illusion, not the reality. Mm. And uh, the negative energy created by fear is mistrust, bigotry, hatred, lust, and jealousy. We must overcome fear. That's a big thing. Lust and jealousy. So I never thought uh, lust and jealousy is a a byproduct of fear. Yes. Whoa. Yeah. Yes. Lust. What, it's a, yes. Oh man, it's kind of yeah. like one of the deadly sins. Yeah, we must overcome fear. Oh. Was it says, with Martin Luther King, you only fear, fear yourself. Uh, about that, one thing to, uh, only thing to fear is fear itself. I think that's uh, something like that. Rose, yeah. Frank Roosevelt said yeah. that. Only thing to fear is fear, fear itself. That's right. That's yeah. Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Well, I didn't write that in this book. No. But uh, <laughs> the first step towards uh, conquering fear is emotional mastery. Fear is the uh, destruction, uh, no, destructive energy that drive us into submission. A life based on fear will only breed a fear-based reality. Fear, mm -hmm. fear is the number one enemy which blocks progress and success. Fear is a, is a, how do you pronounce that? Guaranteed. Guaranteed yeah. disease. Fear is a guaranteed disease which keeps you in your own little corner of the uh, universe. universe. Fear is destructive and it is not constructive. Fear is destructive. Yeah. There's so many components and things of fear. Man, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have Fear is hell. Yeah. Yeah. Illnesses um, and anxieties. Negativity. And high blood pressure. Yeah. Anger. Negativity yeah. should be understood and respect not fear as we have been taught by the churches <laughs> of the world. Also, God should be understood and respected, not fear. Fear yeah. function at a very low frequency. When we fear, we cannot reason. Mm. Have, have no fear, but embrace faith and have confidence, confidence in the Christ power within thyself. No person gain great spiritual development if they are fearful. 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 <laughs> Never see God through fear. Never. Ooh. Okay? I need Ooh, to. Oh, that was something. Cause, yeah, oh, I need man. To underline that. A friend of mine. Never see God he through fear. He got a diagnosis of cancer. She had left the church. And she was so afraid. She said, well, Mary, I don't want to go to hell, so I'm going back to the church. I said, whatever Good makes you. But I mean, she was afraid. And mm -hmm. I said, whatever your spirit is telling you, if that's what's going to make you. But that she was uh, afraid. Mm -hmm. And that's the only way she went back to church. Yeah. People on this planet are raised to be extremely fearful. Mm -hmm. People on this planet are raised to be extremely fearful. Fear is an addiction. It is an addiction itself. We have become addicted to fear. Did we just read that one? Mm, I don't think so. Yeah, I was going to say it. Well, some of it's Yeah, it's well, it's it's said it said it again. My fault. My bad. <laughs> we have become addicted to fear. Addicted to fear. This is what this religion is doing. <laughs> you know, preaching this fear. Uh, but we still living in fear now. Yes, yes. We we in hell. This is hell. Going, yeah, we just, live in hell. The need 
drugs and the school yeah. shootings and the high cost of everything and the virus and everybody and got hatred yeah. and all this. You know, I, I don't experience hate, hatred. You know, but love is our hope for this. Love conquers fear. Yes, love conquers fear. Never seek God through fear. People on this planet are raised to be extremely fearful. Fear is an addiction itself. We have become a addicted to fear. Even death is not to be feared by one who has lived wisely. Yeah, we must not be afraid of fear. Have no fear, but seek only to know yourself and live in harmony with the ways of the planet Earth. The kingdom of God is within you. Mm -hmm. We were, we weren't uh, just accidentally raised to this fearfulness. It has been well planned. We have been genetically engineered for tear, depression, anger, etc. Wean the self off the uh, addiction called fear. Besides, fear is boring, and it shall. What did I say? Is that is it? It's stifles. Stifles creation. Is that stifle or stifles? Stifles creation, and it stifles creation. I guess that's pronounced like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Once we remember the secret that everything is working out perfectly, in the now. We live in heaven on earth. We are all perfect exactly the way we are. Mm -hmm. It is so important to approach everything without fear, knowing that nothing can harm us unless we give it the power. Mm -hmm. For, forevermore, no fear will enter into our home or our life. The enemy of the of all spiritual expression is fear. Where we bring fear, spirituality and science will work together, free at last from the medieval fears that have been haunted our past. We will be able to improve our knowledge. Just being uh, ourselves. What, what you looking at over there? <laughs> uh, <laughs> man, and people can see you. You <laughs> pay attention. No, she's done found the, the tree. She's trying to open it. Go ahead. Ignore her, son. Yeah, uh, almost done, baby. Then yeah. she's gone. Well, she's. She stole the joke. <laughs> no. Let me come up. You only got two. Let me finish this. Okay. Eric, the, my, my subscribers know Sunny. Sunny is she's she's a, a person that comes on camera. <laughs> Just being ourselves is the biggest fear of humans. We have learned to live our lives trying to study other people's demands. We have learned to live by others' points of view because of fear of not being accepted and of not being good enough for someone else. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. <laughs> perfect love casts out fear. So that's the thing. That's, that's why how love trumps fear. That's the only thing. Perfect love casts out fear. We have got to remember that is First John, the fourth chapter and the sixteenth verse. You see how when we go back and forth and the Bible kind of conflicts each other because this scripture, love casts out fear. Mm -hmm. And then you read further, it's telling how God is uh not giving us a spirit of fear, and then somewhere else is with fear and trembling work out our salvation. So you have to just really have a mind to discern what what the Bible is trying to say. Okay. But 
we had 45 minutes. We we did. We went through it. Harold gets uh aggravated with uh Sonny. Sonny, did you know you made Harold aggravated with your noise? Mm -hmm. Oh no no, I'm not gonna cut it off yet. We have got to do our little my book of answers, and you guys know this is, and we're just going to do a book, of, a book of answers. You, you forgot already. Yeah, a lot. A lot. You don't understand. You ask the universe a question. Okay. And, and it's here. It gives you an answer. Okay. I'm, this is a question we're going to ask in general. Mm -hmm. Is Harold Tolliver aggravated? With Sonny. Yeah. <laughs> the answer is be practical. <laughs> so, practically, he is aggravated, but he loves Sonny. So, we finish this, and next week, we do want to talk about this other book. Yeah. You know, the one you was talking about? No. Okay. No, 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 we'll no. talk about that one next week. Okay. No, that's another point. I'm still reading on it. Okay. All right, guys, this is it. We'll talk to you next week.